Turning to Queensland now and recovery efforts there are gathering pace. The state's flood victims are set to start receiving payments from the Premier's disaster relief appeal. $2,000 for adults and $1,000 for children from the $127 million already in the fund. But many people could still be homeless for months. Imogen Brennan has the details. The Queensland Premier fronted her final disaster management meeting today and her conclusion was sobering. Since the 30th of November, uh, Queensland has seen a total of 33 of, uh, deaths associated with flooding incidents somewhere across the state. Thousands of Queenslanders have had their homes and livelihoods washed away. Many have nothing to return to, but there is hope with emergency housing on its way. We've got factory-built housing on a truck on its way to Emerald, Baker Street, there'll be one or two located there. We're trying to scatter these houses, not create villages. Owners of ruined homes can apply for emergency payments from the Premier's $127 million relief fund. Adults will get $2,000, children $1,000 that business misses out. If you have business failures on the back of this flood, um, you know, we're going to have more devastation caused by unemployment. Businesses took another hit as a king tide swamped low-lying suburbs of Brisbane today. We'd love it if, if they could do something about it. Uh, it, does, it does affect us as far as the staff is concerned. The City Council's promising to see if there's anything they could have done about last week's flooding, launching an independent review. We actually sit down and have a proper, careful review of how this all went and what we could do better in the future. But it's the immediate future that's haunting Brisbane's flood homeless with the closure of the evacuation centres. The Kadani's rental home on Brisbane's south side was swamped with floodwaters last week. Everything's very damaged. Uh, very, very difficult. The family of seven fled war-torn Eritrea several years ago and now they're displaced once again. I'm going to miss my friends at Croon State School and I don't really like that. But they say like every Queenslander who's lived through this disaster, they'll carry on. Imogen Brennan, ABC News, Brisbane.